All right, so with my eighth graders, we learn about Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark are a big deal in Montana. And uh, I teach them how to use an online archive written by Lewis and Clark. And it's really this complicated lesson in how do you read a primary source from 200 years ago and sort through that language and all the misspellings and all the incomplete information and contradicting information. And then how do you also detect bias, reflect on bias, and then reject bias? And this involves a lot of screen time and a lot of searching skills and writing skills and computer processing skills. And when they're done with that project, sorting through the archives, learning about Sacagawea, they then have to go outside and climb a mountain behind our school and do some journaling uh, drawing plants or drawing observations or drawing animals just like Lewis and Clark would have done, but they're doing it in knee deep snow, often with snowshoes on. And so it's both this, you have to use this computer to really become a historian, but you need to go outside to get your sense of place of history and to connect with it in a way that is not just through a computer or a primary source on a computer. 